Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter from JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. And this video is a response to a question I received. I'm just going to read it off my screen. It says, what should I do after being rejected from the job I love? He follows up or she follows up by saying, I'm desperately looking for a job in a foreign country where I got my degree and finally went to the final round of a position I love. The position I can apply, the positions I can apply for are rare and after the final interview they said no. I feel so devastated and don't know what to do next. So with regard to this firm, it's over for now. And I say for now because it doesn't mean that you're precluded from trying to work there for other positions or other opportunities. But the fact is, you've been turned down for this job. What can you do? Answer, learn from this. What did you do right? What could you have done better? Where was your background superior? Where was it not judged to be as good as the person they chose? You might try messaging back to the firm and say to them something along the lines of, you know, I'm obviously disappointed in your choice, but I'd like to learn from the experience. I understand you chose someone else. I'm not going to argue the point. Where did you perceive the other person was superior to me? And you have to keep the promise of not getting into an argument because then you'll knock yourself out for years to come because everyone there will remember you. And not only that, when they leave, they'll remember you at the next firm and block you from joining there. I understand that you have an issue because you're looking for something in a foreign country. You may be dealing with visas and other bones of contention that this firm was willing to handle for you. But this job is gone, and all you can do is really learn from it. And if they tell you, we didn't find you strong enough in such and such, improve upon it. If they say you were too aggressive, look at that as to whether it was true or not. If they said you were not aggressive, look at that and see if that was true or not. After all, sometimes there's pushback because they're afraid that you're going to try and argue with them. Sometimes there's pushback at giving an honest answer for a million reasons, including they're too busy. Whatever it is, from the vantage point of you, this is a learning experience. For now, you are not getting this job. The person that they hired may not work out. So you might just put a tickler in your system, you know, 60 or 90 days out, that politely says, you know, I know you hired someone for this role, but perhaps they're not performing as well as you would have liked. So I thought I would reach out and see if you were satisfied. You may not get a response, which actually is a response, but it's a fun way to see if by some miracle there's an opportunity for you to re-enter the scene here. Not right now, like I said, for now you have to learn from it. But in the future, like I said, put a reminder in to contact them 60 days from now, 90 days from now, and see if they're completely satisfied with the person they hire. I suggest this because it's a statistic about employer remorse about people that they hire. Uh, and I think the statistic is something like 60% of hiring managers have buyer's remorse after they hire someone. So take advantage of that. See, there's a possibility that you can reintroduce yourself if you're not goofy now. And in the meantime, you're trying to get information about how you can improve and do it so that this way, if the miracle happens and they do want to talk to you again in 60 or 90 days, well, you've done some work to to improve yourself in the area that they perceive the deficiency to be, and you can do a better job. Hope you found this helpful. Again, visit JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. And for those of you who are watching this, this strategy applies to any job. It's not just a foreign job. Any job from which you're turned down, try to improve and 
See if 60 or 90 days after you've gotten the notice of rejection, they're completely satisfied with the person that they hired and whether they consider talking with you again. Take care. Have a great day.